Our reading this morning is The Avowal by Denise Levertov. As swimmers dare to lie face to the sky and water bears them, as hawks rest upon air and air sustains them, so would I learn to attain free fall and float into creator spirit's deep embrace, knowing no effort earns that all surrounding grace. What is the grace that you need today? What is the grace that we all need, that ever-present, all-surrounding love that sustains us even when we are in free fall. For friends, we are in free fall. To live in the time of a pandemic, a global epidemic that touches all of us in some way, that is to live in a time of free fall, a time of trauma and grief and worry about the future. This is a time of trauma because we're worried, we're scared. Our brains and our bodies are going into fight or flight or freeze. We're having big feelings and it can be especially easy to just get lost in them. Part of that is because of this fight, flight, freeze response. We don't know whether we can face the tiger and win. We don't know if we should run away from it. We don't know if we should just play dead. But this pandemic is not even a tiger. It's something entirely different. And it's just kind of everywhere all the time. And we've never faced a pandemic before. And so our brains and our bodies don't know which response to choose. So sometimes we just bounce around between all of them it's easy to not quite know what's going on, to have big feelings that we don't know what to do with. So we're living in that trauma and that trauma response, that stress response. We're living with grief, maybe sadness for people in your family or for yourself who have been sick maybe sadness and grief for people in your family who have died, or maybe grief for our wider world, all of us touched by that pain, all of us somewhere in the sadness and the anger. We're living with trauma, we're living with grief, we're living with worry and fear about the future, wondering how long this will last, wondering what is it going to come next, what's going to happen. All of this might leave you feeling like you are about to crack, cracking over everything from the lack of ventilators in the hospitals or the lack of testing kits available to your spouse leaving yet another dirty dish in the sink or something being not quite right in a small way. And that's all normal because it's just too much. We are living with too much. The trauma, the grief, the worry, these are heavy weights to carry. We long for things to be back how they've always been, to get back to normal. And part of us wants to just act as if things are normal. Sometimes that's a good way to cope. We need routines. We need things that keep us feeling that we're in a safe and familiar space. And that's good. But too much of a good thing is not a good thing. And if we're trying to just keep going and keep up appearances too much, we find that we can't. Not really. Each of us is holding so much. What 
do you need to let go of so that you can be more present with whatever you're feeling and with what is? Maybe you need to let go of so much striving, perfectionism. Maybe there's something else that you can let go of. We'll come back to this later. Let's pause and let's look around at our natural world. On this Earth Day, we can be inspired to take action towards our Earth. We can be inspired to find solace from our Earth. We can also be inspired by the Earth, by our fellow creatures. We are part of the same web. We are all creatures here together after all. So what would it be like to let yourself just be in free fall like the hawk? Our task now is to be present with whatever we feel in any given moment. What would it be like to be in free fall and let yourself really feel it. I know that in some moments that's really hard to do, and I'll confess that I spend as much time distracting myself as I do feeling my feelings, and that's okay. Distraction too is a good coping tool. And I know that there are times when we just can't, not because of what's inside, but because of what's around us, whether that's because you're a parent and you have to take care of your children, whether that's because of work or school or something else that is demanding your attention away from your feelings. I know it's not always possible to set those things aside. And so in those moments, I would invite you just to name, just internally, just for yourself. I just feel sad. I just feel angry. I just feel scared whatever it is. When it feels like you're falling though, let yourself fall. Let yourself be carried by the wind, trusting that you will not fall forever. That grace, that love is there to sustain you. The wind will pick you back up again. Let yourself fall when you're falling, trusting that it will come to some conclusion. And let yourself be carried by the wind. Let yourself soar when you are feeling gratitude or hope or joy. Just relish those feelings too. My prayer is that you can let go of some of whatever you are carrying so that you can be more present with what is. My prayer is that you can learn from the hawk. Learn from the hawk so that when you are in free fall, you can really feel it. Let yourself cry or yell about it. Let yourself run, let yourself face it. Let yourself just collapse, whatever that falling feels like for you. Know that solace will come that the wind will catch you and lift you up once again. Learn from the hawk so that when you are sustained by a gentle breeze, you can really feel that too. Learn from the hawk to float or to fall, trusting that grace and love hold you in every moment. Let's come back now to that question of what keeps you from being able to float or to fall with the wind. As you listen to this piece of music from Beth, think about and then answer in the chat, what do you need to let go of right now? And answer just in five words or so. What do you need to let go of right now?
responses, some of the things you need to let go of include the need to be in control, self-criticism, worry about my extended family, expectations, my own and others, anger around politics, performing, the need to be in control, need less productivity, we need to be instead of do, to let go of things I cannot change, some stuff from my to-do list, anger and dread and despair and fear, trying to do more in a day than I can actually get done, being elsewhere where I want to be right now but can't, where I had planned to be right now, but can't. Feeling like I need to accomplish something each day instead of just being present. Being overwhelmed, perfectionism, all the stuff from my to-do list, despair for our country, guilt, the past, Anticipation of future grief. Missing walks on the beach. Dithering. The to-do list. All these and more, may we let go of the things we need to let go of. May we rise like a bird. May we fall like a hawk. <laughs> 